Hey everybody, Michelle here with Battlefords and Lloydminster Fit Body Boot Camp. It's about quarter after five in the morning and I'm here at my second location in Battleford just waiting for my 5.30 crew. And um, I was a little bit sad in driving over here today seeing that it was still dark outside. So that makes me a little bit sad because that means summer's on its way out. And um, I really enjoy the heat. I really enjoy summer. So uh, a little bit sad about that. But um, having said that, um, fall is pretty a uh, pretty lovely season around here too so looking forward to those crisp crisp days uh, on the way over here was also thinking about how much I admire my early morning crews at both locations my team and my clients and getting up this early it's not for everybody right and so I really truly do admire uh, the people that do come out at this time of day and uh, work out I get a lot of people asking me you know when's the best time when should I work out and I know there's lots of theories and statistics about it all, but really the best time to work out is when it fits into your schedule. I know the theory behind working out first thing in the morning, getting it over with so it's not on your mind the rest of the day, so that you revved up the metabolism, you're bringing up your energy for the rest of the day, that sort of thing. I understand I understand the, the concept um, behind early mornings, but also if you're stressing out about getting up early, you're losing sleep, like I know when I have to get up early, like last night I'm awake every 15, 20 minutes, checking my clock, checking my clock, and that stresses me out. And I don't have as much energy to work out for myself this early in the morning as I do mid-morning, lunch, um, even in the evening. I love to work out in the evening. So it it's, again, lots of theories. Um, but the best time to work out is the time that works best for you in your schedule. So if you're not an early morning person, don't beat yourself up about it. Work out what time works best for you, but make sure that you work out. Put it in your scheduler, in your day planner, like you would a, a doctor's appointment. Um, or, or you know, if, if you had a child or, or a spouse who needed to exercise um, because of it, is, it would be imperative for their health. Um, you would make sure they do it, right? So make sure that you do it because working out is very imperative to your health. Um, as well as is eating clean. So working out is about 20%, 20-25% of your success in uh, your fitness goals. But eating is about 75-80%. So you can't out-train a bad diet. I'm sure you've heard that over and over again. And... Um, um, so make sure that you're eating clean. If you're leaving, if you're working out here, for example, there's a McDonald's right there and there's a Pizza Hut right there. So if you're leaving here and you're going straight to McDonald's and uh, and um, ordering something off their menu, you're not really going to see the results as quickly as you want. So making sure you eat clean 80% of the time, making sure that you're working out at a time that best suits you and fits into your schedule. And there's no right or wrong, just move your body in healthy ways and uh, make sure you get enough sleep and drinking your water and, and staying focused, staying consistent. Don't just be one of those, hey, I'm going to try this fad thing for six weeks. I'm going to try this program for four weeks. I'm going to try this one. Consistency is key. Stick with something, um, especially if you see that it's working uh, at, the, at the beginning. And maybe it's not now because you sort of fall off the wagon because you're a little bit bored or something. Do what you have to do to stay motivated, to stay on track, and uh, you know, work really hard at putting all those pieces together, and uh, you'll soon start to see some success. Oh, hey, I see somebody just drove up, so um, here we go. Have a great day, everybody.